world's never going to have enough engineers no matter what you do. And I think it's important that companies come and show the children this is what you can offer and it is a really good career and it's a stable job and you will benefit from it. Well it's the future and the past and what we do now. Without engineering we can't do anything. I think they, they are the ones that are going to shape the world for the future um, and without those kind of people um, progression in medical science, military, whatever it may be would just never happen. What we're doing at Big Bang is, is trying to inspire people to continue doing STEM subjects. It's STEM, so it's science, technology, engineering and maths. From our point of view, we need engineers of the future. Uh, we think it's important that young children get to understand what opportunities might be available to them and how science and engineering and technology subjects can help them do that. Learning how things work, so we've always been really interested and curious about what goes on and how it does it different ways to do different things. Ever since I was really little I've been building like just machines of my own and I just really love the idea of being able to do it on a big scale forever. I just like the thrill of being able to take a problem with no solution and basically write the book on it and go right well that's a problem how are we going to fix it? They came over and said do you know anything about it? We said no and they said why don't you have a go at this? We said alright then. We can stand and we can talk and we can preach, um, but there's nothing like hands-on and trying it for yourself and, and, and figuring things out for yourself. This activity is in such a way that they can get a hands-on feel on what, what goes inside an engine. I've been um, connecting up a turbocharger. The turbocharger, I actually never knew how that works, so that was really interesting to learn what it does and why the little wires match up and how it spins faster if you put more air in. Or I thought it was really interesting. The best thing is we even have a CAL experience where they can actually be a designer for a couple of minutes. They can deconstruct an engine, disassemble it, put it back together, see where each part goes. So uh, I wish I had this option when I was in school days where I can go and actually use a live 3D CAD system to play around like that. Yeah, they were showing us earlier about how they used uh, computer-aided design to model their new product. And that was really good as well because we saw that their computer-aided design was the same product we used in school so it was sort of, oh we've got that as well, we are using the same products as big industry. I think it's almost the scale of it and the way that they're developing, I think it's quite intriguing and it sounds like a good job prospect. With engineering if it either make it better or make it work, there is no sort of limit as to right let's stop now, it's always expanding industry. Well when I'm older I quite like an apprenticeship so if they had that to offer and I just I want to learn on the job. I've heard of them, never really known what was what it was about, but I have heard of them. Um, they said there are different sort of placements I could get, and that sounds like the sort of variety would be really good rather than having to do one thing or the time. We hire to develop, uh, so when we're bringing people into our business, it's not just to stay in a role for the next 20 years, it's about getting in, getting established, and then growing and developing with the business. A lot of the other companies I found I was interviewed were quite a specialist in what I'd be working on, so I'd only be so working on a small part of a project. In my role, I get to work on sort of our full engine range. And it's anything from just doing little drawing changes to full designs of massive engine components. I feel that at Cummins, I can deliver the best because they gave me the opportunity to deliver the best. Ultimately, when we're looking for people coming into the business, we're looking for people who've got a good fit with our business. Have they got the right values and the right aptitude for the work? We're strong on the technical side, we can teach the technical side. Obviously we're looking for a level of academics, but we can teach those. It's the values fit, so are people keen to get involved? Are they interested in what we do? Are they prepared to go the extra mile and deliver on what they're committing to do? Then that's the sort of things that we're looking for. I've always wanted to be an engineer, because I think I'd just get bored in any other walk of life. I just, I like fixing things, I like the enjoyment of, yes, this finally works, I've finally done it. There's a lot of pain you have to go through to get there, I'll admit, but quite often the buzz you get off a product that works, you can't beat it.